Hey, today I'm going to show you this advanced procedural generated brick shader. But before I do that, I would like to announce that I have updated all of the shaders that I have created so far to work on all render pipelines, built in URP and HDRP. The links are obviously in the description. You can check that out. And with that aside, let me show you what does this shader do. Uh, you can have two colors to randomly range between them. The fill color and a detail texture, which you can see is adding these cracks. Uh, you can change the value of that detail texture. Um, this kind of makes it lighter and ignores the smaller details, uh, the size. And even the tiling of the details is different uh, so that it, you don't see the, the repetition. Uh, it's different for each like uh, brick. Um, the detail normal texture and its strength. And then an overall saturation and contrast. And that's for the color parameters. The shape, you can change uh, the overall tiling on X and Y. You can change the uh, random offset for each row. And you can change the uh, range of difference in height for each row and for each, um, you know, column, you can say. And then these would change the, uh, the brick inside of each tile, the brick size, uh, um, the minimum maximum on the width, minimum maximum height. Uh, these are still the same as before and for how rounded each brick is. And these two um, would change like how deep the, the brick is. And I have added this extra um, section, which you can add a noise that is colored um, so that inside each color is used for a different purpose. Uh, something for like the, uh, the, the, like to add this, this um, jiggle on the edges, for example um uh, and something to add you know this normal from height uh you can change the size and you can see what what effect it has and the um the strength of its uh, effect on the edges you can do something like that but obviously not uh you can change the uh, lod which would make it kind of more blurry I have also added a section for smudge texture and you can have whatever texture that has uh, alpha on the uh, on the borders of it uh, and then you can select how many uh, like the percentage of uh, bricks to have the smudge on it you can change the uh, size um, and this is uh, X and Y, um, how much uh, minimum and maximum random for like how much uh, alpha you want. So if you want some of them to be very faint and some of them to be strong, then between zero and one and so on. You can change the uh, LOD to make it more blurry. Um, and you can add this random position for each brick. So let's jump into the graph. Let's put this back here and jump here. I'll try to explain as much as possible, but there are a lot of pieces as you can see. To begin with, the uh, construction of the UV looks like this. Um, we get the random height range, we multiply it by two, and we uh, subtract from one minus five and from the other one we add minus uh, uh, 0.5 basically. Uh, and what this will do is um, uh, our range is between zero and one. 
you divide by 2, then it becomes between uh, 0 and 0 0.5. We subtract 0 0.5 from that uh, so that it becomes from 0. And then we add 0 0.5 to that, becomes 1. And so our maximum is 1, our minimum is 0, right? And uh, same thing for the width, right? And we are connecting to this custom node. And for the UV, I'm multiplying by the tiling on X and Y to have tiling. Now, there is some magic in this custom function. And if we go here, we can see it. The magic here is that um, instead of going through the, the code line by line, this basically generates a random point for each tile and then um, looks uh, um, based on where the UV is from that point, if it is on the right of that or above and below. If it is above that point, then we want to check what's the point in the tile above uh, this current tile, right? We generate our, another random uh, uh, point in the uh, tile that is above us, and then we basically calculate the current UV, where does it lie between these two random values. And um, based on that, I am unwrapping uh, or defining the UV of each brick, right? And so, um, yeah, you can also, um, maybe you can notice or not, uh, that um, we can only do that uh, freely on the x-axis or like on one axis, but not on the second one. Uh, what I mean is that all rows, um, like each row have a static height throughout that row, while columns can have varying uh, random values, like per per, uh, where is it? Like this row has the same height all across, but as columns, you can see this is small, this is bigger, this is bigger, this is smaller, so on. Um, and that's because I am using, for the Y, I am using zero as the seed for the X and the actual tile on the Y, while, um, here, for the x, I'm using both the x and y as seed, right? And so the seed would change for each uh, column and for each, like, uh, row as well. Uh, and that's only for the width. Uh, we cannot use, we cannot have a, a random value for both because that will make um, the tiles unaligned and they will basically... Um, like enter to each other and so on and so forth. But yeah, this is what this code does. Now, after that, we will have a nice um, UV that looks like this. And if we do a fraction on that, you can see how it looks uh, if we just get from 0 to 1. It looks like this, right? Now, we. Um, we get the floor, and we get the y, and then based on the y, which looks kind of like this, uh, I guess this might look a little bit better if we do this like one. And you can see now each, we, we are basically generating a random number for each row, so that we add an offset uh, to the x um, of the UV, right? After that, um, we have a split. Now we can take a look at this one. And uh, this is where I am sampling the noise, uh, just doing, you know, the size for the noise and getting the, t the tile and so on and so forth. Uh, sampling noise for the red and green channels. I am uh, constructing this vector 2, which is added to the UV. This is what adds this uh, wiggle um, on the edges of, the, uh, of each brick. And then I'm taking the blue channel to this section. This section is what 
uh, generates random uh, dimensions for each brick inside of each tile, right? Um, and um, basically all of these values are the floor of the UV. And I am just adding some arbitrary number to each one of them so that the seed is different. Uh, generating random uh, three random values and they are based the, the min, min and max is for width min max height min max and round edge min max and uh, all of these uh, with the fraction of the uv goes into this custom node which looks like this uh, it basically um, is a, an stf function to generate um, a rectangle with rounded edges right let's make this a bit smaller now after that what i'm doing here is uh, multiplying this to make it small the rectangle uh, controls uh, split that and uh, add x and y together as the second edge and only x is the first edge for the smooth, smooth step and the input is our output from the custom uh, node and this is basically what uh, i was talking about making it uh, like higher making each brick kind of deeper or etc um, and then this guy as i mentioned is the blue channel from the noise uh, and i'm adding that value basically in so that the uh, I'm adding noise to basically this value, right? Uh, and then we can make this uh, a normal map, right? And uh, the normal map is going to be blended with a textured normal map. Um, I think fancy here. And what else? So uh, the the other. Um, the other one which doesn't have the noise right is going to be used to facilitate uh which part is the brick and which part is the the filler right so this goes back to uh here and what am i doing here let's see we are getting the floor we are adding some arbitrary number generating a random value between 0 and 10 and then multiplying that by 2 uh, as the y and it's the same as the x and that's because most of the times you want to you want to squash uh you know you want to have a um the height as uh, uh, uh well the width to be twice as the height um and then we are lurping between zero and uh this value right um to then uh, let's see. We go here. We are getting the fraction, and um, subtracting zero point five, and this is uh, for the smudge random position. So subtract zero point five so that it's centered, and then we multiply by the uh, the uh, position parameter, and that's going to be our offset. We are getting the fraction of the UV, adding 0 point, or uh, subtracting 0 0.5 so that it's uh, centered. And then we, multi we add for the tiling the smudge size uh, multiplied by the tiling X. All of this, and then we are going to add back the, the 0 0.5 that we subtracted before. And this is our UV for the smudge. Right? Um, now, we are going to do this thing, um, divide the smudge percentage by 10 and adding it to compare, check if it is greater than our random value that we generated between 0 and 10. If it is, then we are going to use the value of the smudge texture. If it is not, then we are just going to get the, um, the original color. And the original color color is um, the same floor. We generate a random number from that floor, and you know we have that. And it's going to be a lerp between color one and color two. 
and so that is our main color so we switch between this and that and then we also uh, want to get the alpha of the smudge texture and um, uh, let's see here this is the smudge alpha minimum maximum random uh, value and so we multiply the alpha by that and then we put it into saturate so that we make sure it's between zero and one and then we lerp between the texture with the smudge and well i guess not the texture but the color with the smudge and the original color right to have that alpha so then the result of that goes into this place and this is where we um we mix between the filling and the coloring this is useless so here we have the same tile stuff and uh, we are also sampling the details and um, details goes into a lerp uh, so that we can change between one and the actual texture uh, and uh, the detail value is the parameter that switches between these two we multiply it by the lighter details parameter we do a saturate so that is between zero and one and then we multiply it by um the color which is uh the you know looks like this it's between the 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 actual color with the smudge for the brick and the filling for uh the other place we multiply these two together and um then we go into a saturate uh, just saturation uh node and contrast node simple enough and that goes into our place uh, the the thing that switches between what is brick and what is not is as i mentioned this one so yeah that's uh that's it that's pretty much it and um i'd like to thank you so much for watching all of my videos uh if you didn't take a look there are some nice stuff and um yeah check out the, the links in the description i don't run ads in my youtube channel so um these assets are the only almost the only support i get from you guys also the like button i heard is free as well as this, the subscribe button so do that you know and um yeah see you next one